Somebody approached me recently um, via email, so they didn't actually approach me at all, they just sent me an email, um, asking if I could basically include some of their pictures in a video. So what it is, um, I could have started that off a lot better than I did to be honest. Basically, um, a guy has created a picture book for people, for children originally really, um, to learn about and to learn to deal with autism and illnesses that can affect them cognitively. Um, basically, you have a picture of an everyday object, um, an everyday whatever, um, as you will see later in the video. And basically, it's what do you see? So you're just drawing what you see. I do this when I'm on the toilet. Uh, it sounds a little bit weird. But what I do basically is I sit on the toilet, do my stuff, and I look at the floor and basically I make out pictures in the lino. We have blue lino, but it's got like different swirls and shades of blue on there and I see a different picture every time probably because I'm mental but um no it's it's good to it's a good way to get their imagination basically going and um it's so much better than just like dumping a kid in front of a a tablet or a phone or whatever and just having them play a game so, as you can see, this is my tablet, which has some of the pictures on, and I have my paper, and I have, wait for it, I'm using one hand because my other hand is holding the microphone, ton of pencils, colouring pencils, so yeah, I'm not trying to show off but you know, <laughs> check out my fat pencils, no, so yeah I've got lots of stuff, I'm prepared for this, okay, whatever picture they throw at me, I will draw something really weird out of it, I bet you, I have had a look at the pictures already, um, just briefly, just so I could download them and put them on there basically but I don't actually know like what I see in them if you know what I mean like <laughs> I see in them you know <laughs> anyway cracking on my first picture is that So yeah, I think this is quite a nice idea um, to uh, to um, do for children, and it's something that you can find in everyday stuff, really. Um, and uh, it's just, 
you know, it's just a nice. <laughs> okay, so if that's not a chicken, I don't know what is. That is blatantly a chicken. I mean, look at that. Oh, the chicken features are there. Even the eyeball, which Chicken's got some highlights as well. You know, just sort of uh, in the neck area there, and the leg. Chicken, okay? I think we can all agree. There's a chicken standing up, and behind him is just pass off. I'm trying to draw chickens here. God damn it! You know, rocks for some reason. He's standing against the wall. Um, maybe he's just been arrested and. He has to stand against the wall. Beautiful. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but toot toot, because that is stunning. Alright, <laughs> moving on. Um. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Right. Next picture we have Can you load please? That would be really nice. Wow, what is that? Uh yeah, so yeah, okay. No worries. I can definitely make something out of that. I need... I'm just gonna go with a brown because it's brown so we're gonna go for landscape right we have a face you see my head? oh there we go um, we have a face. We actually have an eye. We have a nose. And kind of a mouth. Uh, we don't actually have an eye on that side. Maybe it got like disfigured or something. Um, Basically, these are her boobies. They're rather large, but they are definitely boobs. This is a hand, even though I think she looks like a bit of a uh, um, a woman. Um, Oh, sea lion maybe? Kind of normal lion cross breed. Um, maybe like she's just become one with that tree. This is her flubber. This is like her hair. 
you know, a bit of hair there. Um, maybe her hair looks like it flows down because you know you can see that bit there, yep, yeah, flows down. And she's just got loads of rolls, loads of fat rolls. Um, flippers. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I'll darken that for you so you can see it better. Because why would you want to miss that? See what I make it, won't we? Um, I just gotta check you're still recording, you know what I'm saying? Right, that's not got a nub left in it. Okay. Right, so that is basically. Okay. Right, and she is standing on a flower. white so I can't really colour them in and the dress is white as well she's like in the shadows also, no not in the shadows that makes no sense she's like uh, a hidden identity she's hiding from something but she's showing off her true beauty with the dress god I'm so deep and philosophical. It's amazing. I mean, you know, you have to agree really, don't you? That's pretty spot on, to be honest. Obviously, it's just my own interpretation, but it is the correct interpretation, so. Um, <laughs> 
I joke, I joke. Okay. I've not got enough paper, I don't think. Um, let's pick that one. Okay. Basically, what we have here, folks, is a circle. This is quite cool, actually. It's quite fun to do. Um, I'll put some links down in the description of his info. And, and stuff like that um, when I find out what I can actually give out because it's going to be selling these on um, Amazon I think and uh, I've got a Facebook page as well which I'll put a link in and um, yeah I just think it's a really nice idea to be honest um, maybe this actually looks like a little bow in the hair, even though it's not a bow and there's no hair. That was pretty simple, to be honest. It's just a simple face with writing on it. See, maybe some people would interpret the face or the mouth to be in this bit at the bottom here. But I like this little side mouth going on here with that. And maybe we could make that into a beard. There you go. That's, that's a beard. All right. So. I would really love to know if there's any psychology behind what you actually pick or oh god or what you actually you know end up drawing because some psychologists might have a field day with me really just in general um okay what's this one okay It doesn't, like, sorry if you can't actually see that while I'm drawing, it's not really, like, you're not necessarily supposed to be able to see it, if you know what I'm saying. It's just there for me, really. Okay, so... We have an ugly person. Um, quite witchy and moody no teeth because she ate them all um, for some reason I literally see a line as her body and that is her body like you know and she's just like like if the edge of the tree that'd be great if like the edge of the tree was like here so it just feels like she's hanging on the tree do you know what I mean help me no, I just drew the tree through her head Like, you know, just hanging on for dear life, really. Hmm. 
That's gorgeous. That's actually beautiful. I mean, who... Who wouldn't want to see that on a dark, scary night? Hanging from a tree. It's beyond me. Alright, I think I'll do one more. Um, let me just pick. Okay, this will be a good one. I saw something straight away with that one. Okay. Right, I'm prepared to be freaked out, to be honest. So this is supposed to be a nice kids book, right, and I'm just going to go ahead and completely destroy that image right now. Basically, now it could be one of two things for me actually, I mean the same thing, but so this is Actually, yeah, so what we have here is a sadly um, I've done that completely the wrong colour though actually because well basically it is a broken Humpty Dumpty he cracked open, so this is his head, the crack is here, you know, all shards of egg, egg, eggshell, and this is his yolk, um, even though it looks like blood, because I did it red, because obviously I'm disgusting, so that is the crime scene, <sighs> stupid camera cut out, um, basically I was just saying that it also looked like there was something here, um, and uh, maybe like a little bed for him to sleep in forever. Um, yeah, so, or it looks like these are teeth and he's like eating something, or that he's in a frying pan and someone's going to cook him. Either way, it's all morbid and gross. Um, <laughs> So this is supposed to be a nice, you know, child's thing um, that I've just completely ruined. <laughs> but it's a fun thing to do if you've got kids to do, do that kind of thing with your kids. I haven't got kids and I found it fun, so, you know. Um, I'll put a link to his stuff in the description and he'll be selling them on Amazon. Did I already say that? I can't remember. Um, and uh, yeah, so hope you liked it. Um, see what you find in day to day stuff. It's quite fun when you're sitting there on the toilet looking at the floor um, <laughs> to uh, decide, or well, not decide, but look at, you know, s different shapes in stuff. Um, so. Yeah, sorry about the camera cutting out, and I had my eye on it as well, most of the way through until I got to Humpty Dumpty and then I got carried away. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> bye guys. I hate saying bye guys, that's what everyone says, bye, farewell, laters, ta -ra.